In this video, I will show you how to set up your email and calendar synchronization on an Android phone using an app called Samsung Email. There are four main reasons why we uh, recommend these apps. Uh, first of all, it is pre-installed on, uh, on Samsung phones. Uh, it's free to download in Google Play, so if you do not have a Samsung phone, you can still download it. It supports Exchange Active Sync, and that is the technology we use to be able to sync your email, calendar, and tasks and contacts. And finally, it supports multiple calendars. So if you, in your school, have a private calendar, you maybe have a calendar for your 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 team and maybe one for the whole school and um, you want to be able to see all these different calendars also on your mobile phone and samsung email do support this so without further ado uh, i will now show you how to set this up on your mobile phone on your Samsung device, you will have this icon that is called email and that will be your uh, Samsung email application. If you do not have it installed, you can always go to uh, the Play Store and uh, search on Samsung Mail and it will be the first one coming up and it says open is because I already have it installed. So go ahead, download it if you do not already have it on your phone. Now, let's start to set up the email and the calendar sync. So, click on the email to start the setup. From these several options, you click on Other. Write in the email address. and type in your password and then click on manual setup if you choose a pop3 or imap it's only for your email what we want to use is the microsoft exchange active sync which will synchronize all the elements by clicking that this setup screen comes and the only thing you need to change is the server so it's called mail dash sync dot dot com and you click sign in. You have to apply security settings, apply, and you have to activate the app. As soon as you do that, the email account has been added to your application so uh, from now you have your inbox here all your folders if you have more folders um, with it all coming up here so every time you receive a mail you will also receive the mail here okay what about the calendar then well let's open it I've now opened the calendar and I can see that I have got a couple of things in here so um, let's try to uh, go to, for example, uh, I think in July I had some tests. Here we have some that I have made from Outlook to private calendar and from Outlook to the school calendar. So these are events that I have already made in my Outlook calendar. And uh, if I go to the June, they will come up here. So this is from Outlook to private and from Outlook to school. So those are the two. Then later on, I made two in Simbra as well, just to see if this will synchronize down well as well. And it does. There are sometimes a, a little bit of a delay on the sync to the mobile device, but uh, I guess there are different settings for it, but within short time, they will always end up showing. So this shows that the calendar sync is working between Simbra and Outlook and the mobile phone. 
So if you want to add something to the calendar, you click on the calendar, you make a title. So this can be a test from uh, Samsung to private. Then I can decide which calendar to put it into and I will put it into the calendar that is called uh, Morton's calendar which is on Malibu. So that's my private. And you put the start time, end time and all these other things. I'm just going to choose another date so it doesn't crash with something I already have. Uh, the 8th. Uh, you can invite people. Uh, I want to invite uh, myself to the meeting which means that I will get an email about this meeting. It's in, uh, I put it in my private calendar because it's not for the whole school and I save it. So now this will come up here on uh, my calendar, the 8th, and uh, that's how you add it to the calendar. While we are here, I wanted to just pay attention to some settings. You see some of the colors are very close to each other. You have some different options under the setting by clicking on the gear. Here you can, for example, manage calendar colors. So if you have the school in Morton, they're very close together. You can click on the school calendar and you can, for example, uh, choose a very bright yellow for it. There are also other settings here that is good for you to look if you want the week number to show. I think by default it doesn't, but you can add it so it shows the week number. And there are some other settings as well that is worth going through. Okay, from your email um, application, you get uh, the email in and you can also write emails but you can also make events. So you can either write an email or you can add something to the calendar, even from your email application. And you do this in the same way. You click on the calendar and straight away, from Samsung email, uh, I will put this in the uh, school calendar this time. Uh, and it's uh, the date. I'll put that in a little bit into the future as well and we save it and it is now added to the calendar. So every time you add something in here to the calendar it will eventually also show up in your Simbra and in your Outlook. There might be some delay because the synchronization for some of the calendars can maybe they have a set on two minutes or three minutes so it might not be instant but uh, rest assured, if the system has been set up correct, they should also populate the calendars in Outlook. So uh, let's go into Outlook now to check to see if uh, something has come in there. I've now opened my Outlook and uh, I think our tests were made in June. So let's go to June. And here I can see the private to uh, uh, Samsung to private came through okay. And then you have Samsung to the school calendar also came through OK. So both the events that we made in uh, our Android uh, calendar also came into our Outlook. My experiences on the sync with, uh, Microsoft, uh, with the Samsung email and calendar is that the primary calendar normally syncs within seconds. It's more or less instant. Whilst if you are using secondary calendars, there might be delays in the synchronization, but normally they do pop up. But uh, so if you are on the road and if you do add something to a secondary calendar, then just double check it. If you add it to the primary, your own calendar, for sure, it will be synchronized straight away. So that's how you set it up on your phone. If you have uh, any question whatsoever regarding this setup, you are welcome to uh, drop us a mail. And of course, we will help any 
customer of us uh, to get it set up uh, correct.